So this video is going to show the new reaction section. So I add the section in the usual way and now I'm going to upload a reaction file. Of course I can bring in compounds individually but I've already got this reaction drawn with reactants and products. I open the file and then I transfer it back into the experiment. I check that everything's drawn correctly, the compounds are named correctly, everything is correct so I now import it into the experiment. So here the chemistry has come into the experiment. Everything's looking uh, good here. And I need to uh, label my section. So I'm just going to copy the name of the product and paste it into the title of the section. Now I need to add some solvent to this experiment. So I'm going to use the search box just below the reaction scheme and type in the name of the solvent I'm going to use. I can choose dichloromethane from this list here, or I can uh, click on the magnifying glass and open the full search. Here's the dichloromethane, which I can now add as a solvent. So that will be added just below the arrow as text and down the bottom of the different components of the reaction. Here's the solvent and I can put in a volume that can also enter a quality and some comments if I wish. So we've added the solvent for the reaction. Now I need to add a reagent. I'm going to add some triethylamine. So I search here for, for triethylamine. Here are the list of hits. I find the triethylamine and I add it as a reagent. That then comes in into the table as well. It comes in as a text over the arrow and it's down here in the table as a reagent. It's taken the name, uh, the TEA, which is in the search, but there's also the calculated name. You can use that little broken link symbol to return to the, the chemical name from the structure if you prefer. And you can do that with other materials as well if you change the name and need to change back to the calculated name. So now we need to uh, work out the quantities. The first compound here of the A is, you can see it's the limiting reagent where it says reactant limiting up the top. You can from there select another compound to be the limiting reagent if you wished. So we're going to, for the limiting reagent, put in um, a molar amount. You can choose to put in a mass or you can choose to put in a molar amount. We're using the mass purity calculation model at the top right uh, because this is a, a solid material. So we then put in the molar equivalence of the second component in the reaction. And we choose the solvent. We can also choose the solvent again for the first component. Down here, the triethylamine, the reagent, you can see that it's using the volume calculation model because this is a liquid. And you can see that the density has already come in from the database. You can always fill in densities if a density hasn't come in automatically. So it's also calculated the volume of this material. Again, I can change the molar equivalence uh, for that material as well. Now we have the product and I put in the amount of product I obtained after carrying out this reaction and it calculates the percentage yield. You can also of course add purities and densities to these materials if you wish as well as comments. Now I need to have my write up. I can add a text section. This from my sections has already got some filled in uh, details of the, of the reaction and I just need to copy the product details which I can do by going to the reaction section and choosing a material and copying it as text. So from the cogwheel for the material you can copy as text, you can do this for all sorts of the materials but here is a product and I paste that into, into my text section so for a product it comes in as the quantity, the yield and the product name. For the other components, it comes in, in in a different format. So this is not linked. If you change the table, it doesn't change the text. At the moment, these are separate sections 
uh, but you can copy different materials from the reaction section and paste them. So now I'm changing the the different quantities, the different scales. So from the reaction section settings, the cogwheel at the top right of the section, I can change these different settings. So I can choose grams and moles and liters rather than the milligrams and millimoles I had before. And I can choose to apply this to existing compounds in the section with a little tick box. You can also choose the number of significant digits which are displayed in the section for the different materials. So here I've got three significant digits and I've also chosen I don't want any rounding in front of the decimal point. So I'm saving that and then we scroll down the reaction section and you can see uh, that now I've got uh, grams rather than milligrams, I've got uh, moles instead of millimoles, it's converted uh, to the different units. And the solvent here is in, is in litres. So that's the new reaction section.